All right, guys, we're back here with Mini. Uh, we're not going to do a big uh, intro on this one. We're just going to get into it because we got a lot to do. So let's get cracking. Got the parts back. That was quick. He was able to knock it out in like a couple hours. So I got all this shit. Hell yeah. It looks so good too. About to fit it in the car. Oh man, I'm so happy. This looks so cool. Oh man, guys, it's so good. It's so good. It's all just kind of sitting there right now, but goddamn, it's so good. Hell yeah. Oh, I love it. It's exactly what I was looking for. So now uh, I marked some spots here. I'm going to trim this edge out right here so I can figure out how to, I'm going to make some like L brackets so I can bracket it to this somehow. Um, that way this is actually bracketed. I haven't decided if I'm going to trim this out or just kind of leave it like that because it's actually kind of locked in into the um into the front lip here so it's not the worst thing in the world um and then i need to you know run all the hoses and stuff for that yeah oh man i'm so happy this looks so fucking good i pulled off the bumper support and then i was like you know what we're gonna pull the intercooler off and i'm gonna try to get this try to see what belt size i need this is a uh, way too short <laughs> this is like a stock belt for a k24 with ac so it's, yeah, it's quite a bit shorter. That's a, let's see, it's a 507, 670. So I must need something in the 507, oh, 720, 730 range would be my guess. I don't know. I'm gonna have to uh, do some research. Maybe just go buy a bunch of pellets and try them. Oh, and then the other thing that I wanted to point out is, if you look, it's hard to see, but right down in there, the belt is actually hitting the frame. Oh joy, you know what that means. That means not only did I have to re-weld this, but I'm betting I'm gonna have to hammer it in or cut it to make that belt fit because that ain't gonna work. Shit. Okay, so I went to the parts store, got a whole bunch of belts, and I think I found one that's gonna work. Um, so this is a K06711. So this one fits, like the length is pretty much perfect. It is a six rib belt instead of a seven rib, but I have this, you know, this frame rail problem. So it's going to give me a little bit extra clearance for now. I am still, it still touches a little bit and I'm still going to have to pound it in. I'm going to try to cave it in pretty far so I can run a seven rib. But like right now, it really doesn't matter because the six rib will be totally fine for this pulley. Once I pull it down, I got to get a different size belt anyway. So uh, at that time, I'll just run a seven rib. But for right now, I think I'm going to run this one. Okay, so now that I have all of this torn apart, you can see kind of where the belt was touching here. Where it's kind of raised up and this is kind of... You know, it's it's not ideal. I'm gonna hit this with an air hammer, try to push this in as far as I can. I don't know how much room I can get out of it. I may have to heat it. Uh, we're gonna find out. So I air hammered that in quite a bit. Um, now, unfortunately, the only way to know if it's gonna clear is to put all of that shit I just took off back on. So I gotta put supercharger back on, alternator, belt, all that shit. So let's get to it. Okay, so now it clears the frame down there, but it's hitting this bolt here, and I just realized it's barely touching the alternator right there, which means I clearly have something wrong with the belt routing. I don't know, huh, shit. I don't know how to route this belt now. Hmm, uh, all right, back to the drawing board. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, so I'm an idiot. I had the belt routing completely wrong. Um, it's actually, I had it going, I don't even know how I did it. I went up here over the water pump and then around this. And I think, I don't know. I think the only reason I did that is because I had AC deleted before. So, so it's actually supposed to go this way and then around here. So then it's nowhere near the frame rail right here. And the belt, this shorter belt that was going to fit is now way too long. So I need to try a different belt. I'm almost wondering if that, that first belt I started with is probably pretty close. All right, I found a winner. Went to the parts store again. This time got a K07 685, so it's a little bit shorter than the other ones. And it fits. Fits perfect. Nice and tight. Clears everything. Hells yeah. Alright, so 
for the meantime, I've got uh, all the stuff taken back apart. Um, I threw some primer on here, uh, a couple spots. Uh, I'm gonna lay some yellow on it in a little bit. Um, this, I decided for the moment, I'm gonna leave this open because it's actually easier to get the bolts in and out. Um, I think, uh, yeah, for this, for this go through, for this next car show, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. And then when I tear it back apart and do the smaller pulley, I'll box this in. But for the moment, I think it'll be fine. Um, I think, let's see, next order of business. I think I want to, like I mocked, I had this uh, spot welded on. This one's, this one's on here pretty good. This one's just spot welded on. I think I'm gonna cut it off and move this bracket back just a tiny bit because I noticed the inner core was just a little bit too far out on this side. If I can get it in just a little bit, I think it'll be better. So I'm gonna cut that off, uh, weld that on a little bit closer and then throw some primer on this too. Okay, so I spotted that back on. I don't think, I honestly, after the fact, after I cut it off, I realized that I can't really go in any farther because of where I had the pipe welded. So it's probably pretty close to where it was, but uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'll fully weld that here in a second. But right now I put this back on here so I can mock up the oil cooler again, because I need to figure out how long I need to make the oil cooler lines so I can run them to the supercharger. So I'm gonna figure out what length those need to be. Then I can, put them on here and then permanently mount the supercharger so I don't have to pull it off again. That would be a big step, so I'm gonna do that. I'm bouncing around all over the place, but uh, I threw some paint on that stuff there, and while I've been waiting for this shit to dry, um, I put my put a two uh, fittings in here for vacuum, got the one ran over here to the fuel pressure regulator, and then this one is gonna go to the blow off valve. I just gotta, once I get it together, I can cut it down to length, but that'll work. Hell yeah. Got the uh, final install. Supercharger is bolted on, pulley is bolted on, everything's Loctited. We're solid there, belt's on, because I honestly I had to put the belt on so I could tighten this. So all of this, good, good to go. So now I just got to, uh, yeah, assemble everything else. So I need to still finish up the oil lines. I got this oil line on the back. I kind of measured it to where it needs to go, which is like kind of somewhere in here. Um, there might be a little bit extra I can trim off, but until I get the uh, oil cooler actually mounted, I won't know. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. All right, so next step, uh, I've been putting it off. I, uh, I keep forgetting about it and jumping around, but I need to trim this section out, uh, trim a little bit right here so that oil cooler will uh, fit in there. All back together again for about the hundredth time. Um, okay, so oil cooler. Um, gonna have it obviously right here like I talked about before. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, you can kind of see right there I made an orange mark and then there's another orange mark over there. I think I'm just gonna drill some holes in this piece. I'm gonna make some L brackets to hold that where it needs to be. And then I've got, you know, my hose going to come up and come into that one and then I'm going to have to do the same thing over here but until then I need to I need to get this bracketed up first so I'm going to take this all back off drill some holes and then see if I can find some sort of brackets to make okay so I'm working on these hoses um I figured out that that the one that I had coming from over there is going to be just about the right length um by running it under this pipe here and then I decided to mount the filter right here because this one has to go to the bottom of this so that's going to be pretty easy and then I'm gonna run this one from here, goes to there. So that's gonna be all pretty straightforward. This one um, needs to go to the top of the oil cooler. I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna run that. We'll figure that out here in a second. There, I got those hoses ran. So that one's going to the supercharger. Those ones are all done. So uh, I've got my brackets, uh, let's see right here. These brackets, um, I just kind of threw some paint on them real quick. I'm gonna, rivet the, these brackets to this piece. That way it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be permanently affixed. So then I'll just run some bolts through there and we'll be good. Here's the, uh, the line for this one. I kind of decided it's gonna go around the frame right here and then it just kind of, it's gonna go basically up into here and then like this to give me the tightest bend I can so that the oil isn't too high. Same thing with this one. It's just like, it's gonna have a really tight bend. Um, just, just enough that it's not kinked, but still, yeah, quite a bit. Um, so now, 
I'm gonna take the intercooler back off. I'm gonna get all the clamps ready and I'm going to do final install on the intercooler so that I can put all of the stuff on there and not have to worry about that. Well, except for the two clamps down here, I've just got regular hose clamps on this blue one because my uh, other T-bolt clamps haven't shown up yet. They're gonna be here this week. Um, it won't be a big deal to take that pipe off, so I'm gonna tighten it up anyway. So intercooler is bolted in uh, solidly. The bumper support mounted in permanently. I got all the hoses around to the oil cooler. Um, they're all clipped on. This is bolted on. Um, I might need to do some zip ties here in a couple places. Maybe, maybe there. Um, I'm getting close to needing to put the bumper on. Uh, however, I need to bleed the oil system, which I think is going to be really tricky to do. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I really hope I don't have to pull the bumper support back off, but I fucking might. Shit. So it turns out, yes, yes, I uh, I do need to take this off. Um, I unbolted most of it. I don't, I'm don't. i gonna try and just kinda sneak in here, but basically I have to get to this banjo fitting right there to loosen it up to bleed the air out of the system when I'm filling it. So that was, yeah, that was a problem. <laughs> I kinda pissed off because I was like, I was like, oh, look at this hole right here. I was like, I can just do this, get this in there. It would have been freaking sweet, but uh, the bracket is uh, unfortunately too close to the banjo bolt, so that doesn't work. All right, so the procedure is they wanted me to fill this reservoir um, to the max line, and then um, you crack free that banjo bolt that I had showed you guys earlier, and then I basically need to pressurize the system with air and just like a rag until it starts to come out of this banjo uh, and then I just need to tighten it back down and then it should be primed. I just gotta, and then I'll have to double check the fluid. I did overfill it by a skosh, um, but that'll be fine until I get it ready. Once I get it primed, you know, it's possible it might be underfilled, who knows, but I'm gonna give that a shot. Well, I had fluid coming. Coming out of that uh, banjo uh, made a bit big freaking mess over here. Um, I didn't. I'm not. I can't get to it to tighten it very tight. You know, like quickly. So hopefully there's enough fluid up in there that um, it'll it'll pull it through. Um, I'm gonna check the fluid here and then, yeah, maybe maybe start it. I guess I guess I still have a couple clamps I need to do. There's a couple things I still need to do, but getting there, almost there. Okay, so I think this is gonna be really hectic because they have a lot of uh, things that they want me to do. They want me to like start it up and rev it to 2500 to 3000 RPMs, but then within five seconds, you also need to fill the fluid. So that's weird. But then um, and it's like, oh yeah, you gotta keep adding fluid and you gotta rev it to 3000 RPMs. And I'm like, how are you supposed to rev it and add fluid? So I'm gonna be doing a lot of running around like crazy, I think, trying to get this thing to, uh, yeah, get this thing to work. So let's do it. I don't know what the hell that's about. Now I gotta figure that out. Okay, so I determined it is 100% to do with the map sensor because I unplugged it and it fired up, but it wouldn't rev up worth a shit. So uh, I tried modifying the scaler for that and we're gonna try it again. So I did some jankness. I've got uh, 
got this vacuum line ran all the way to the inside because I, I just remembered that Haltech has its own onboard uh, map sensor. So, in theory, I should be able to start it with this. If not, I got something else going on. So I'm gonna try this and then, yeah, let's try this. Hell yeah, guys. Fuck, it finally started. It was definitely a map sensor, that Omni one. I don't know if it was broken before I got it, or I know it is. But it doesn't work. Uh, so I, I ran it off the, the Haltech. Worked great. Um, I actually went and picked up my old map sensor again, because I literally sold it last night, and then I bought it back from my buddy. Uh, so <laughs> I've got a stock Honda map sensor back in here, so that'll work if I decide I need uh, more map sensor, I can just hook it up to all tech. I just, <clears throat> I just didn't want to run the vacuum line to the interior right now. I'm like, you know what? It just makes more sense to just throw this on there. It works. So doing that. So obviously I have a lot more to do. Let's do, I'm going to try see if I can get this bumper on. All right, guys, got the bumper back on looking good. Let me get you in here. Show you how good she's looking. Everything fits real nice, real tight, because, you know, yeah, it's a very tight setup. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm in a good spot. So, I got um, pretty much everything that I wanted to get done, like, the minimum today. I, I was kind of hoping to drive it. I didn't make it that far, but I did get... It's, you know, it runs, everything's together. The bumper's back on, all that stuff. The only things I have to worry about at this point are, to, well, you know, to make it to the show, make it to the races, whatever, is I've got to switch out this blow off valve because this one is just that Chinese, just a Chinese deal. I don't even have an O-ring in there because the, uh, the O-ring, it snapped because it's a cheap piece of crap. And this, uh, this flange that it comes with is absolutely god awful. It's like a steel clamp and it just, oh man, it's, it's bad. So my good one is supposed to show up here. Um, should be like hopefully midweek. I don't know. They're talking it's going to ship out Monday. So Wednesday, Thursday, you know, worst case scenario, I'll see if I can find an O-ring and I'll try to run this blow off valve. Obviously I don't want to do that, but if I got to do it, that's what I'm going to do. Um, the other things I got, uh, I still need to finish this nitrous solenoid. I need to revend this bracket, drill some holes or figure out how I'm going to mount it. I might reuse one of these bolt holes here uh, to get that mounted figure out what jets I want to put in it, do that. Um, and then I've got fuel injectors are on the way. I ordered some uh, injectors. Um, those ones, they might be here tomorrow. They're either going to be here tomorrow, uh, maybe Tuesday. I'm not sure. Um, get those in there, redo the map, need to do the tune. Um, once I get my new blow off valve, I'm going to have to double check the hood because this one was a little bit tall and it was like almost, it was kind of sort of touching in spots. Um, but apparently the Chinese one is a little bit taller than the real one. So I may not have a problem. So hopefully that's good. Um, and then basically it's just really just, uh, you know, checking over things, uh, you know, zip tying some things and then getting the car clean. I gotta get the car clean to make it to ice cream cruise. So we will see. Um, it's, I don't know if I'm going to get the next video out before I make the ice cream cruise. If I do, if we make it. Um, mostly because I'm going to be, it's going to be crunch time. So you'll probably see the next video, uh, after ice cream cruise. Um, so it'll be kind of left hanging. I mean, if you got me on other social media, you might see a post here and there that whether I made it or not, but, um, yeah, for this episode, that is going to be it. So like subscribe to the things and peace out.